2021 has been an incredible year for longevity research in the emerging field of biotechnology. Billionaires such as Jeff Bezos and Vitalik are investing billions in revolutionary longevity startups and even entire countries such as Japan are very keen on developing age-reversal vaccines in hopes of stopping an aging population. But this is just the beginning of what we're going to see in 2022, and more importantly, this in the next decade. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you the biggest and most promising advances in longevity research we've made in 2021 and what advances we can expect in the coming years. Consider gene editing. CRISPR spawned variants with breakneck speed, resulting in a big toolkit brimming with powerful gene editors that are significantly more efficient, dependable, and safe than their predecessors. CRISPR off, for example, uses epigenetic mechanisms to reversibly switch genes on and off, all without snipping or altering the gene itself. Prime editing, which simply snips rather than completely cuts DNA, has been upgraded to accurately edit up to 10,000 DNA letters in a variety of cells. Twin prime editing has the potential to rewrite whole genes. These enhanced CRISPR technologies now allow researchers to address previously untreatable genetic abnormalities. Nonetheless, we are barely touching the surface of gene editing. When scientists looked into the CRISPR family tree, they discovered a large universe of other CRISPR-like systems to investigate further. AI is now assisting in the discovery of novel CRISPR proteins, as well as their kill switch. Other concepts abandoned CRISPR entirely, instead relying on another sophisticated bacterial mechanism to change millions of DNA sequences without breaking a single DNA strand. Without a doubt, the gene editing toolset will continue to grow. In other news, quantum mechanics has joined forces with neuroscience to accelerate AI. In an efficient complete circle, AI is now developing its own hardware processors at Google. AI-powered brain implants were able to battle depression in a spectacular proof of concept, with continued work to heal chronic pain and convert the brain's electrical impulses from thinking to text. In the medical world, a heated argument over an Alzheimer's therapy prompted a fresh wave of enticing ideas for dealing with and taming our long-standing mind-eating disease. I understand. Everyone is sick of hearing vaccinations. Their amazing capacity to combat a wholly unique contagious virus, however, is nothing short of astonishing. It also demonstrated the power of decades-old technology that had previously been dormant in labs with a platform that is significantly quicker, simpler, and more versatile than any prior vaccination technology. Because they no longer rely on physical target proteins from viruses, but rather on the genetic code for those proteins, developing a vaccine takes only a laptop and some creativity. The age of the digital vaccination is here, wrote a GlaxoSmithKline team. mRNA vaccines, according to supporters, have the potential to alter present therapies for a wide range of illnesses, and the field is expanding. In August, Moderna, for example, began a human trial of an HIV vaccine to examine its safety, targeting a virus that has eluded traditional vaccination strategies for four decades. In collaboration with the National Institutes of Health, NIH, the business recently presented results on an HIV vaccine candidate that reduced the risk of infection in monkeys by roughly 80%, with all participants producing antibodies against the 12 tested strains of HIV. It's no easy task. The HIV target, ENV, is a hard target owing to its intricacy, and it's covered with sugar armor to hide vaccine target locations. The mRNA vaccination provides renewed hope. Aside from viruses, mRNA vaccines might be used to treat autoimmune or neurodegenerative illnesses. BioNTech, a Pfizer vaccine development partner, is using the technique to combat multiple sclerosis. The immune system progressively removes the insulation from nerve fibers in MS, producing slow and irreparable damage. The strategy is very versatile, rapid, and cost-efficient, with the potential to be tailored to each patient, according to preliminary results in mice. mRNA vaccines that target cancer or antibiotic resistance are also in the works. It remains to be seen if the technology can address some of our most difficult ailments, but the field is on a roll. CRISPR has long been promoted as a technique that has the potential to revolutionize gene therapy. Previously, researchers utilized the genome editing technology to boost immunological T-cells, 
converting them into super warriors capable of fighting blood malignancies through CAR T therapy. The tool was also effective in treating anemia and other symptoms in people with blood problems. The disadvantage was that cells had to be gene edited outside the body before being put back into the circulation. This year, CRISPR was upgraded to the ultimate aim of directly editing genes within the body, opening the potential of healing hundreds of illnesses caused by incorrect genetic coding. One experiment from University College London made a breakthrough by editing a faulty gene in the liver that eventually leads to heart and nerve damage. Unlike prior attempts, the CRISPR apparatus was given into the bloodstream in a single infusion to turn off the gene, significantly reducing the production of the mutant protein in six individuals. Another experiment targeted a faulty gene that causes blindness. Volunteers were able to improve their light perception by directly injecting the therapy into the retina. Both are outliers. CRISPR was administered in the liver study utilizing lipid nanoparticles, which are little fatty spaceships that have an affinity for the liver and have more transitory gene editing effects. Moreover, unlike the retina, most of our body's tissues are not easily accessible with a simple injection. However, as proofs of concept, the experiments usher CRISPR into a huge universe of gene editing possibilities within the body. CRISPR, and its numerous upgrades, is poised to cure the untreatable, with advancements in delivery. DeepMind and the University of Washington have developed AI that can solve the structure of a protein based solely on its genetic code. It's a once-in-a-generational breakthrough, a breakthrough of the year, and a technology that will permanently revolutionize structural biology. Updates to the original AI can now anticipate protein complexes, or how one protein unit interacts with another, as well as their function. AI is also beginning to unravel the structure of RNA, the messenger that connects DNA to proteins. The influence will be seen across the board, from synthetic biology to medicine development. AI designed drugs. It's been a long time coming, but the buzz is now here. Alphabet, Google's parent firm, founded Isomorphic Labs this year to tackle a new realm of medication research using AI. Powerful algorithms are making it easier to screen medication candidates from a pool of millions of chemicals. And the first AI discovered medicine is presently in clinical trials as a safety test for a lung illness that permanently impairs organ function. It's a huge step forward, and the experiment might pave the way for the first AI discovered and human-tested medicine to cure illnesses. The initial few hours and days of a human embryo's growth are a mystery that must be solved. Understanding early pregnancy is critical for reducing birth abnormalities and pregnancy loss, as well as enhancing assisted reproductive technology. What's the issue? Early embryos are difficult to get and pose substantial ethical and legal issues. Several research this year avoided these issues by converting skin cells into blastocysts, a biological structure that resembles the very early stage of a human fetus. Tossing the traditional, sperm meets egg, story aside, the researchers created the first full model of the human embryo, using embryonic stem cells and skin cells, no reproductive cells were required. Bathed in a nutrient-rich liquid, the cells formed into blastocysts, which included cell types that would eventually lead to all lineages needed to construct human bodies. The manufactured embryos are genetically identical to actual embryos, sparking discussion about how long they should be allowed to develop. What is the worst-case scenario? Consider a mini-brain developing within an embryo formed of skin cells. For the time being, it is technically impossible, but the ethical conundrum has sparked worry at the International Society for Stem Cell Research, which supervises human stem cell and embryo research. Surprisingly, they modified the 14-day guideline for growing embryos this year, allowing embryo research to extend beyond two weeks. With looser constraints, future research might disclose what occurs to a human embryo after it is implanted in the uterus, as well as gastrulation, the process through which genetic signals lay down the body's general patterning and set the scene for organ development. It's a contentious choice, but it presents an extraordinary chance to update IVF and, for the first time, investigate the early phases of human development. It's also likely to create ethical concerns. What if the embryos, whether natural or artificial, start producing brains that fire or heart cells that beat? One thing is evident as artificial blastocysts increasingly resemble their biological counterparts. Enormous power comes with great responsibility. 
the world of longevity looks very promising with more and more scientists believing that we could soon reach the fabled longevity escape velocity. So, what is your opinion on these approaches to curing aging? Do you think they hold merit or not? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.